welcome to the Hunter Baby Challenge Part 4. And I left y'all at a cliffhanger last episode where we had two twins. And I'm I'm just going to cut to the chase. You didn't get to see their names. Their names are April and Betty and then the la- and um the 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 father is na- father's name is Bjorn B- I don't know, the B silent, Jurgis, Jurgis, Jurgison. Yeah, that's the, that's the baby daddy of April and Betty. Those are the two twins, both girls. So how about that? Because the video cut off at the, because fi- it records 15 minutes at a time in the game. So it, 15 minutes cut off, the 15 minutes cut off when the twins, oh. when the twins were born. <laughs> So, um, this is the new, uh, baby daddy. His name is Drew Dewey. Yes, Drew Dewey. And he is the next baby daddy. Yay! We waste no time. Well, Zev wastes no time. She wants to get to the first 25 babies real quick. Gotta pause. See, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Yes! And they're both boys. Two boys, yes. This is going to be great. Thank you, Marcus Flex. He's the next baby daddy. I spoiled it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> now get a picture with him. I gotta pause for a moment so I can get her properly dressed. And get a picture with him. Just before, just in case he leaves. Before he gets the big news. You never know when that can happen. He could, she could be sitting on the toilet getting the news that she's pregnant. And he's going to leave. So I might as well get the picture out of the way. Now that he took the picture. It went up on my wall of shame. I'm calling it the wall of shame. You know. You know how like. In that movie. Uh, Sorority Boys. They had this. Because the walk of shame, and they take all pictures of the girls who who left the boys, the men's, the men they sleep with. They leave their rooms and they get their picture taken, hanging up on the wall of sh- on the wall, and they call it the walk of shame. <laughs> it's kind of what this is. Little Simsy was doing it, so I'm doing it. Okay. She's the one that inspired me to do the 100 Baby Challenge. Because I watch her, it's like, this could be easy. So why not? She's pregnant. She already gave him the news. And now we wait. Those three days, we gotta wait. Where the heck are my nail clippers? You know, you get this cuticle... There's one annoying cuticle, and you can't do anything about it. So they use tweezers or something, because it's annoying. I hate cuticles. Zoe, Zoe takes off with oh, my, my clippers. <laughs> Ow, freaking A. It's in my purse. Probably in my purse. I don't know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> Yeah, they were in my purse. So I took them on vacation with me. I don't know why I talk about it. I talk about a lot of personal stuff lately. In my videos. Some people do. Some YouTubers talk about personal stuff. So I'll talk about my nails. Anyways, while they're here, they might as well play video games together. Built up her video game skill. I mean, why not? Also, another little cheat I'm going to mention. And and I've been doing this since the Super Sim Challenge. Okay? The MC Command Center allows you to uh, slow down the, the knee decays. It slows down their needs. 
so it doesn't decay as much. Or it doesn't decay at all. So babies, I don't have to check on them that much. Kids, they're on their own. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is easy. I don't have to feed them that much. I don't have to look, at, you can look after them. But that's it. You can play with them. But you don't have to, like, uh, feed them or change them or anything. They don't need to eat potty trained because, one, they don't need to. Their needs don't go down. I set this up for the Super Sim Challenge because Prince trying to accomplish his goals plus his needs going down. That's so boring. Ah, so so. Now she's going to make it with Prince. Oh, my gosh. She's going to make it with Prince. And <laughs> oh, not friends. But you know what? He's a potential baby daddy. So let's not get her hopes up. She was at one time when she was emotionally vulnerable. She was attracted to Prince. But when she figured out that he was up to no good and he was evil, she's like, nah, go away. Don't need you anymore. Not attracted to you anymore. Bye. <laughs> She not attracted to evil yeah, people. Yeah, Woo! Oh, <laughs> remember, she was attracted to friends at one point. You know, I got my third video uploaded, and I should have just my fourth. You know, I feel like I've got so far behind on making videos, on being on posting videos. <laughs> that I already uploaded like three in one day. I, I just got behind. I feel like I got behind. And I know some people, some YouTubers load a, a, a video a day. And, well, that's not me. I upload when I can upload. You know, I do other stuff besides YouTubing. You know? Oh, look! Eva Zev is pregnant! By Kai. I know she's married to Kai. I have her married to Kai. Because, because in the 100 Baby Challenge, well, Zev can't, Zinia Zev cannot get married while she's doing the 100 Baby Challenge. She has to have 100 separate guys, so there's no jealousy. I may have actually accidentally married uh, Zinia Zev's prince at one point because. I actually hit Forgot Sim, and I didn't want to forget Prince because I wanted to invite him to birthday party for future, for Zev's future children. And, and the only way I could add him back to uh, having any kind of relationship with him is to marry them. Should add him as a, as a brother instead, but, and then, that would have been weird. Had baby with her brother. <laughs> so no husband. And then I got stuff with that for a little bit. So you might notice that later. Zev can really dance. He's working on her dance. <laughs> yep. Woo! <laughs> Zev needs to get out of the house as much as she can because when she gets overwhelmed, with children, she won't have time to get out of the house. She might as well do it and get out of the way. Uh -huh. I can't believe Ava's up is pregnant. That's not hot. Hey, uh -huh. uh -huh. I see Bunny in the pink, in the pink tank top and the pink sparkly uh, skirt with the Bunny. You can, barely, you can see her on the lap, in the corner, on the side of the lap, you know, you can see her. And the pink top and the pink skirt. And you see Priest! In Hawaiian shirt and shorts. You know, like you've seen him in the beginning of um, Little Blue Planet, where... Uh, his, his, uh, his headquarters or something. He's wearing his Hawaiian shirt. So yeah, that's inspiration for that. I think he was wearing a Hawaiian shirt. 
Listen in. Over the road. Jumps up. Yeah, Zeb, so enjoy your time out of the house. Because you are going to get overwhelmed pretty soon. Yeah, I'm looking at the names of... Well, I am actually at... I mean, as far as pre-recording, Zev just had babies 22 and 23. As far as pre-recording goes. Just two more. Two more. But then, it's not the end of Zev's reign when the last one that's got to do the challenge, the last girl, she's got to age up. So... Then we'll be in the dead ring. And then on to the next one. Woo! Just, I just prayed that the last one, the last, I mean, the last child to be born in the first generation is a girl. Because that's going to help. Yeah, be a YouTuber. That's going to help you get some money. More than 7000 But if you think about it, if you're not doing any re renovations, 7000 would last. If you're not going to be doing any kind of re renovations to your house. Dude. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video. But I have plans. You know... For the third generation, <laughs> or the fourth generation, I decided to make the biggest Lex house ever in Sims 4. Okay, I made a 40 by 30. I made a 20 by 30, which is the little Lex. It wasn't that great, but, you know, I tried. But then you have the 40 by 30, which is on this lot right now. My, my, or Zeb has her house. It's a 40 by 30. It's the most common Lex I ever built on. It's a 40 by 30. I also had a, four, a 50 by 40. Which is... I, I have a video on that. You just look for it. It's called Lex Manor. That's a 50 by 40. Now, the biggest lot in Sims 4 oh, is a 64 oh, by 64. Oh. Okay. Oh, the front so of the legs, where the eyes are, the face, I? it's not going to be oh, 64 Lord, wide. That's just from the head to the tail. The, that's going to be 64. But I think the, the head of the legs would be... Shorter than that because um, if you have a 64 yeah. by 64 size legs, oh. it'll look weird. So the head, so, so the, oh. it's Learn not going to be as wide. Oh, you it's going to be 64 father. long, Bahira. but not going to be as wide. Because I have this really idea for a kitchen counter. Oh, it's not going to be up against oh. the wall like normal, Do like well, you've seen any other like. Legs have built. Since the legs is going to be big enough, the counter is not going to be up against the wall. And you'll see. It's, I have this pretty good idea for a counter. Someone give me an idea. I saw it in a, like, you know, you know how they can make the round counters? It could be the eyes. Yeah. I mean, why not? <laughs> you know, it's a lot of work. I can do it. I mean, and the tail would be like, it, it'd be like a bar. And also be the table. That's where everybody will sit. I mean, the long part. Part of the tail. At the end of the tail. 
Uh, not sure what to do with that. I know the front of the legs, where the eyes are, and where the front of the legs, like the head of the legs, um, that's kind of like a little counter. I mean, that, that's going to be like a stove where you're just going to prep. I think I should add like a, uh, I mean, I don't know. Should I add just a stove and a refrigerator there in the front? And the back should be like um, where she washes the dishes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking it's gonna be a kitchen slash dining area. Rinka Shalbo, Spobani. Gosh, these kids are gonna grow up fast, and then let you know why because. I don't know how far, how many episodes I'm in. When it, because seriously, I have not. Uh, I mean, I have no idea what episode number I'm on. When it comes to the part where Zeb already had babies, twenty-two and twenty-three. I haven't gotten that far. I haven't pro. I haven't processed any videos, any videos past twenty-two. I'm not further than that. I mean, I recorded over like 50 video clips. That could be in the 30s. Or it could be episode 40. It's a lot. Who knows? I'm trying to get a lot here done. Maybe I could get 14 done here. And then maybe <laughs> see how far I am past episode 22. Because I haven't taken any videos out of my recorded video folder in my Sims 4 folder. Because those files, my, my uh, power director program cannot read. So I have to go to Handbrake and process them to MP4. To, to MP4. So I haven't done that yet. So I have no idea how far I am past episode 22. So, who knows? I mean, last time I had 50-something video clips, I got 14 episodes in. So 22 plus another 14 could be, episode, could be up close to episode 40. I could be at episode 40. Jalerba Who knows? But it's Zim interesting. Po hmm. Man, I really want to get to the second generation. And I'm just having so much fun Bimbo with this. I'm having so much fun. I'm not realizing that I could be uploading videos too. I could be adding commentary. And uploading videos too. <laughs> I recorded so much. Oh, man. Yeah, be a YouTuber. No, I made the summer like a month long because I don't like the fall and winter. Fall and winter are not my favorite seasons. The only thing I like, uh, the only thing I like about fall is Halloween and Thanksgiving, and then the rest of fall means okay. I don't like it. Winter. The only thing I like about winter is Christmas, mm, maybe New Year's, but after that, mm, no. Winter. I don't like winter. So those months, I I make them a week long. Those seasons in the game. So when it comes to, I like spring and summer. So spring, I make them both of them each month long. <laughs> so when it comes to fall and winter ones, I shorten them, the calendar and the game to like a week per se uh, each season's a week long. Because I really don't really get past fall. I really just want to get past fall and winter. No, I don't really. Pay attention too much at the season to the like the, like the 
holidays in this game because I already have a Let's Play where I'm doing that. I'm in Lust. Where I focus a lot on the seasons. And on the, and on the holidays and such. So, doing it in other Let's Plays, like in the challenge, this is exhausting. <laughs> Prince don't even care. In the Super Sentry Challenge, he doesn't care about holidays. He don't celebrate if he's got time to celebrate it. If he doesn't, well, let's, let's, put, let's put this way. So, uh, I can't speak today. Let's put it this way. It's the last thing on my mind. Now, Christmas is over. I just took down my tree. <laughs> it takes me longer to take the tree down than it is to put it up. <laughs> Finally, the tree is down. My decorations are put away. Finally. There's extra space in the nook area. Where I can draw out my floor plan for the new legs. Because my graph paper... It's not that big. So I have to tape graph paper together. My graph paper can hold a 40 by 30 <laughs> build. I mean, when I sketch out a 40 by 30 build, that's, that's the size of my, each of my graph, each graph paper. 40 by 30. So I need about four about four pieces and tape them together. Four pieces of paper, tape them together to get a 64. 64. <laughs> Cause seriously. And I don't think I'm going to stick the bathroom at the end of the tail. Because you know how long, far of a walk you got to go to to get to the bathroom? <laughs> uh, oh man. I think the bathroom should be bigger than that. Like at the end of the tail. Uh, the bathroom should be bigger than that. I don't know why I keep sticking it there. Because when I was playing Sims Free Play, that's where I would stick it. And it'd be big enough. Not in this game. Yeah, do some painting. Earn some more money. I mean, why not? You see, the thing is... I slowed down... Their needs, it's the TMC Command Center, that the babies hardly need to be looked after. Except, every once in a while, you give them attention. I mean, here's what I think about Sims. It's not supposed to be based on real life. You play Sims to escape reality, not relive it. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to deal with toddlers and babies and how they act in real life, I'll go with a real life toddler. You know, I mean, <laughs> Zeph has invited her out. Well, both Zephs hanging out together, they're sisters. <laughs> Just in case anybody doesn't didn't know that, they're going to do duet together. Let's do a duet. You know. Why not? Look, <laughs> now this time, he is, he is pregnant. <laughs> and the others have isn't. <laughs> you know, the blonde hair Zeb actually likes it's being pregnant. Lot of bloody You'll see it later that she gets, it, she gets energy boost when she gets pregnant. <laughs> She Never likes it. No, no, I'm going to name each kid alphabetically. Go, just go through the alphabet. But I'm skipping in a letter. Q. Just, I can't hardly can find any... I, no, I can't speak to that. I can't hardly find any good names with a Q. So I skip it. It goes from directly from P to R. It's hard to find good Q names. Well, I can't find good U names and X names and Y names and Z names. <laughs> but whatever. 
Why is everybody writing Zev? Is that not famous? Everybody's cheering Zev. But Zev isn't famous. I think it's because uh, Judy Ward is there. She's like a celebrity. She's like a global celebrity. Like mostly everybody's cheering her instead. Yeah, you know, is everybody following her? Yeah, everybody was cheering this, this Ward, this Julie Ward or something like that. You know, I'm not going to do much with celebrities in this last play. Not like I did with uh, Prince in the Super Sin Challenge when he became a celebrity. And now that he's reached the global celebrity, should he stop being a celebrity or just enjoy the limelight a few episodes longer? Yes. Maybe you should take a break from being a celebrity. Because otherwise, paparazzi just keep showing up at his doorstep. Moochie Peachy, Kribixta, Miss Sarah. We have both Zeds. This guy with the red hair, he's got potential. In the future. It's not now. Wish there was more to talk about, to be honest. You know, I really hope Lex gets a reboot. I really hope so. so I, got, I got ideas. I think I've said it before on, on, on previous episode. I ain't going to spoil much for everyone. I mean, I got the transcript up and on a fan fiction site. It's called Lex Finally Home. And if you want to check it out, it's on fanfiction.net on the category TV shows and that. And you probably have to, it's probably filtered, so you probably have to like this. It's probably filtered. You're going to have to go through the filter section and filter see like, where the ratings are. Uh, and select all because it doesn't show all of them. Is that though? Better go to Lex Zone. It's somewhere in there, you got to scroll. I see Stanley Tweedle too! Hey, Dan! What's up? What's I feel like I don't get Stan enough credit, you know. I pay attention to Prince and I pay attention to Zev. Well, both Zev. I don't pay enough attention to Stan. I mean, I also pay, I pay attention to Kai. I don't give Stan enough praise. Stan deserves his own Let's Play. If I could figure out what to do with that, if I could figure out a Let's Play for him, I would. And Stan will be the star. Main focus. If somebody come up with a let's play for him, please let me know or before if I don't come up with anything. So, anyways, that's the end of this episode. So stay tuned for part five. Like and subscribe.